Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to embed a video on your blog. Um, first thing you want to do, if you see on my screen here, I have a couple of windows open. I have my, uh, my, my dashboard open. I also have the YouTube video that I'm going to embed. Today I'm going to be embedding an Alicia Keys video on the post that I did about this week's blogging challenge. So um, in order to do this, you have to have your complete post all finished. So if you can see here, I have my musical freedom is my title, and I wrote about this week's uh, blogging challenge, and I wrote about the Alicia Keys concert that I just saw. So um, to add this video, you have to make sure that you have everything done with your post first, and then you come over to where it says HTML, and you click on HTML. Now, you're looking at, if you notice here, there's some code in here. You don't want to touch any of the code and stuff that you have here already. Uh, to embed your video, you come over to YouTube, you click on the little widget here that will allow you to customize how it's going to look because you don't want to include any related videos. You can select your border. It'll give you a little preview of what it's going to look like right here. Then you go in and you copy all of your embed code, come back to make where it says HTML, and I'm going to paste this embed code right at the bottom of my HTML, and I'm all finished. So that's how you embed a video. Uh, let's take a look at it. So we'll, we'll hit publish. And you do not want to go back to visual. That will disconnect your video from, from your blog. So you want to make sure you leave it on HTML. Um, now when I go and I look at my site, I should have my post with the embedded video at the bottom. And here it is. And I can hit play. And there's that video. Um, when you go back to your site, um, if you go to add a new post, you want to make sure, again, you don't want to make sure that you do not hit the HTML button there um, or, or, you know, change that over in any way. You want to leave it the way it is. And then when you go back to your site, it'll, it'll be back and you don't have to touch it. If you do edit it, you might have to reassign that tag. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and that's how you do it. If you have any questions, give me a call. Thanks.